Imagine stepping outside in the middle of one of our 90 plus degree days wearing a fur coat. Well, that's exactly what your dog is going through, according to local veterinarians. As Denver Shepherd's Meg Lopez explained, vets now are hoping to educate pet owners about this potentially deadly dangers of this heat. If I can take the heat, they can take the heat. That can be a cruel and dangerous way of thinking when it comes to a pet's ability to tolerate Colorado's blazing sun. It's basically like sticking yourself in an oven and turning the, the heat on to 350. That's what a heat stroke can feel like for your pets, says Dr. Sarah Ford, a veterinary internal medicine specialist. This time of year, she has a warning for all dog owners. Animals are really, really tough. So if they're showing you clinical signs of a problem, they're probably sicker than you think. If you are out exercising, walking, or playing ball, your dog will try to cool down. Typically, that means panting for five to 10 minutes. So if they're panting for more than 10 minutes, or it's really exaggerated or excessive panting, that definitely isn't normal. Dr. Ford says if that happens, or if your dog can't seem to catch its breath, if its tongue and gums look dark, or if they seem disoriented, then you need to get them to a vet right away. If the dog's temperature is still below 105 degrees, they have a chance to save their life. We cool them down, we give them cool IV fluids, we treat them for shock. Um, if their temperature is 106 or above, then that's when we really worry about 24 to 48 hours having organ failure and um, not being able to ultimately save the pet. The bottom line is keep your dogs in during the hottest part of the day and reserve walks and playtime for mornings or early evenings. Megan Lopez, Denver 7. Likewise, hot cars kill hundreds of pets every year. And under Colorado law, this is important, a person is immune from criminal or civil prosecution for property damage if they break a car window to save a pet in distress.